So what I'm trying to do is connect this blue tack, you know, this bit of blue tack to this. Um because that video looks really so basically the video look, I think will probably look really easy to do. So I just thought I should show you how hard it was. This is actually done afterwards, it's not really behind the scenes because behind the scenes is whilst you're doing it. Um but yeah, so I had to do stuff like this and obviously the thing sometimes stayed, it sometimes didn't, so it was a bit kind of hit and miss. Um which when you're doing slot motion is really annoying. So sometimes it would go obviously like sometimes here and then the blue tap would be up here. So um but I think the easiest bit in the video, which you can't really tell, is actually here. So when you're watching the video, the car is there, right? Something like that. That's the easiest bit, but the angle kept changing. So if you look, it's there. That's pointing down here. But I want it pointing up here. Um, sometimes when it's here, um, it would fall down. Like at one point it fell down here. I did, Obviously, I deleted the scene. But it like fell down like here, and I and I was taking the photo, <laughs> so you get it's a really cool picture if you take it halfway whilst it's falling because it kind of gets like here, but it wasn't what I wanted, so I wanted it to go round and round. Um, I just thought you probably can't tell that with watching it, and the amount of times this is obviously a broken mini. I know it's a broken mini. I've even scratched the side of it, but um, the plastic I put on the top of the roof like this, kept falling off, so I had to keep putting it back on, because every time it fell, the plastic got weaker, um, which is a bit annoying, um, there you go, but like, I managed to sort it out, I think, but, yeah, it was just a bit kind of, it fell down again, um, it fell, I think, probably, quite a lot, I can't remember entirely, but nearly every time, you see it that I have to reline it and if you're watching it really closely you can see this moves quite a bit uh, during the video um, and I did realize that afterwards obviously because I I noticed these things afterwards rather than during although I noticed one because that's quite obvious because um, the carpet looks like it's gone in some sort of spiral if you imagine I turn the camera from here where it is now to here the carpet when you look at the overlay would be in a circular motion um i'm going to try and do some proper behind the scenes because i'm going to try and do another one of these if i can find another toy car um i do have a bit of a collection but i don't know if they would all fit in this um so yeah i mean this this was really hard but looked really easy to do so i just want to kind of show how kind of much effort it took me to do this video um just kind of give you a bit of insight really um and obviously halfway through it looked like this so yeah it was it was a tough video to do should we say it wasn't easy um but all i had to do at one point was I got a little bit bored, I don't know if you noticed, and I copied and pasted some of the scenes. Uh, yeah, I slow some of the scenes down, uh, but it it loops really obviously, um, and I know it does, because I looped it. Um, to, to, to be honest with you. Um, but the, the sound um, you can find on the internet... Uh, just type up like things like car noises, car driving off, free car sounds, that sort of thing. Um, and you can either download them as a like an MP3 thing, um, or what I did was I put it on my computer and then transferred the noise. But a typical car noises were about three seconds long, 
So during the video, you get this. It goes from here to like there. I, mean, I can do this like this. Hang on. Ready? To there. And I have to do the sound effects whilst it's a three seconds. Yeah, that was one of the easiest bits to do. Because if you look, I've not actually put the blue tack on. Blue tack's still up here, isn't it? I think. Where's my blue tack gone? No idea. Well, anyway, the blue tack isn't on. It's here. The blue tack isn't on the car, but it stays here because sometimes it's really kind of um, we have tight. The kind of the gap is really narrow. Um, hang on, I'll show you. So the tight, it's kind of the gap here is really narrow inside. So why it flipped over? Um, right. So it's quite a narrow gap, so it just stays there. The 